vibrations uh, introduced into the ecosystem, a plume. The plumes. The plumes. The plumes. Plume flows. Plumes coming from the discharge from the ship. That doesn't sound good. That ecosystem is going to be impacted. And then there's all of the, the microbes. Oh, a bunch of microbes. You know, there's there's a big microbial communities inside the, the sediment that play a role in, you know, how our carbon cycle works, actually. Carbon absorption. Oh, and this is a carbon sink. The oceans absorb about 25% of the carbon that we pump into the atmosphere. Usually when humans mess with things, we find that one thing triggers another that we didn't anticipate. This is an untouched part of the world. We don't have a lot of those left. Going, you know, 4,000 meters down to mess with that after everything that we've already done. There are creatures that live directly on the nodules. So every time these researchers go down there to take a look... How do they even research? all this stuff in the dark. They're basically coming back with some new, cool-looking invertebrate that no one has ever named or seen before. My god, the creatures down here are wild-looking. These aren't things with faces. Things like corals and sponges and sea anemones. Translucent and slow-growing. Whoa. Squid worms, gummy squirrels, gummy squirrels. Sounds like a candy. And all kinds of weird and interesting fish and other sorts of creatures. We haven't found these anywhere else on the planet. And so the idea of possibly destroying some of them before we've even known them, I think rubs a lot of biologists the wrong way. 